Hi, today was your biology paper and we are here with the analysis of the same. So uh, I'm doing the analysis of set uh, 3 of uh, Delhi region, right. So uh, the paper was a uh, kind of an average one, right. And uh, if, if you see the section A and section B, the questions were direct and section uh, E also, you know, that is a five, five marks question that was also more or less, you know, direct question, right. Next thing is that uh, almost 20% of the people, you know, got repeated, fine. So that means you got a chance to score high in your examinations, right. So uh, we are going with the, uh, you know, section to section uh, analysis and then we'll see that, uh, you know, which question was a little bit of tricky and, uh, you know, change in the, you know, question pattern. So there was, uh, if I can see, there was no change in the question pattern right now. Okay, so section A comprises of five uh, uh, question that is of one mark, and that is a uh, you know uh, again uh, just just one mark uh, you know one one word answer. So if you can see the third question, such as a technique for a researcher, uh, you know separate the fragments of DNA. The answer was uh, uh, very easy. That is electrophoresis. If we see the fifth question, give an example of a codon having dual function. That you know it is methionine, right? So it's 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 kind of a very very easy section A, right? If you move on to section B, again. Uh, you know, it, it is asking you direct question like what is the what is the uh, you know uh, role of the enzyme DNA ligase so that you know it's helped in the joining of the DNA, right? Now, question number uh, eight, if you can see, it's direct question from your NCRT book, right? It is it is direct. Like uh, if you, if you go and see the NCRT book, it's it's just the same. So if you see A, you know uh, the answer of A that is wheat, answer of B that is black rot, answer of C that is white rust, and answer D is pusa kumul, right? So it's a very easy question. So you can you can actually score two out of two in this question, right? Now the question number ten is is somewhat uh, you know uh, maybe you you will be uh, you know not able to understand you know how we have to answer it. So it, it says that uh, uh, angiosperm bearing unisexual flowers are said to be either monoecious or dioecious. So it is not asking anything, it is just asking you how the pollination is happening. That means your cross-pollination and self-pollination, right? So, uh, you know, you have just to uh, give, uh, you, you just have to give the example and then go with the question. So this was uh, uh, the end of the section B. Okay, now we are, when we are seeing section C, so it is the longest section of the paper, which comprises 12 questions. And it is, it is asking, uh, you know, a uh, question from each and every part of your NCRT book, right? If we start with the uh, you know, very first question, that is 11th question of section C, okay, that is what is GMO? So, you know, it's a direct question. And what, what is the possible advantages? That is a very, very simple question. Now, if we go and, um, you know, again see uh, question number 12, that it says that technique to obtain multiple copies gene in vitro. Now, when it's asking in vitro, you have to go for the PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction. You have to explain all those things, three mark question. It's fine. Next is, uh, you know, if, if we go with question number 14, breastfeeding recommended, uh, that's a simple question. You have to uh, talk about cholesterol and, uh, you know, all those antibodies, etc. Right. Now, the question number 15 is kind of slightly tricky. Why tricky? Because it is asking you the experiment helped by, uh, you know, uh, help Louis Pasteur to dismiss the theory of spontaneous generation of life. You here, you have to just go with the swan neck flask experiment. You have to just explain the experiment, you know, draw the diagram, explain it nicely, you will get the three marks. Fine. Okay, next is question number 16, uh, which which uh, got three parts, A, B, C. Okay, the first part, uh, you know, uh, there is need to conduct te such tests. You know, yes, there is need. Name the drugs uh, authority usually look for. That is opioids cannabinoids. It's directly from your NCID book. You, you have studied that in, uh, you know, uh, opioids and cannabinoids. That's the same answer. Okay, now question number 17. Again, it says an example of autosomal recessive trait in human. You can give the example of sickle cell anemia and draw a very very nice uh, you know um, you know cross for this sickle cell anemia. So you will tell okay that's homo homozygous recessive will be sickle cells. Fine. So that's not a problem. Question number 19 is somewhat uh, you know elaborative because why you have to talk about RNA interference in menodigine incognitia, right? Okay. Question number 20, again, some of the organisms are being, uh, you know, repeated here that I told you 20% of the paper is repeated. So here some of the question is, uh, you know, uh, repeated. One new is nucleopolyhydrovirus. That is normally a pesticide. 
Fine, all right. Okay. Now, question number twenty-one got uh, you know two options. So, uh, what first question was in a food chain, trophic level, it was in functional level. So here you talk about just take the example of uh, omnivorous organism. Then you can tell about no species is not important. It's actually the functions that is important, right? Next, the O version is your electrostatic precipitator. Actually, asked in examination earlier also. Fine. So you just have to tell one limitation, okay? And and uh, what are electrostatic uh, precipitators? Next is question number twenty-two. Now here you have to just talk about test cross, nothing else. Okay. Now B section always, uh, you know, there's one question of four marks, and that is a very simple question. You have to just write, you know, what 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 is there in your mind. You will get the marks, not not a problem. Okay. Now the last question that is a very very important section because uh, you know five question five mark question three questions of each fifteen marks, right? So. As I told you in the earlier uh, power tips, also because uh, you know this 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 section is important because it 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 talks about five marks. You know the question asked from biodiversity. It asked from uh, you know your um, uh, genetics. Harshi Chase experiment. Now Harshi in Harshi Chase experiment, that is question number twenty four. You can see that it uh, it asks uh, you know sub parts of the question. So here uh, the question uh, says that uh, name the kind of virus they worked and why. You know, uh, you know, bacteriophage because we have to infect the bacteria. Now the next question is why do uh, why did they use two types of culture medium to grow viruses in? Right, because they got two types of culture because they have to grow two types of viruses. One is for sulfur and the one for phosphorus because they have to see you know which one is infecting. That means protein or nucleic acid. Okay, so that was the conclusion also of the of of the whole experiment. Okay, so that was a simple question. Now. I, I know uh, there's one more question that uh, that may be a problem. That uh, name the scientist who influenced Darwin and how? Okay, so the scientist name was Alfred Russel Wallace. How you'll get to it. Next question, direct question from biodiversity. Okay, that's not a problem. Any, uh, another question from human population, the age pyramid. A simple question. You have to just draw the pyramids and explain the facts there. Okay, last question uh, that talks about the explain the uh, you know. post pollination events leading to seed production in angiosperm basically you have to start from the development that is from fertilization till embryo development so you have to uh, you know just just talk about all these things maybe in points or in diagrams or both so that will be fine right then list the uh, different types of pollination depending on the source of pollination you have to just talk about self pollination and cross pollination their types also so that is fine in or option briefly explain the immense fertilization implantation in adult human female there was plant this was human beings same next come in the role of placenta as an endocrine gland it is also a repeating question right so you just have to talk about the functions of placenta so in my view the paper was uh, on average side you can score very good if you understand the question the question was not tricky question was good okay if you if you give the elaborate answer another one thing another thing that usually a bio paper are lengthy here i, I don't think so it's lengthy because section a and section b is quite uh, you know just one word answer right so you have to just give one word answer then question uh, section c was a kind of elaborated question d got only one question and uh, section uh, you know sorry section c got only one question and section e okay comprised of three questions sub parts so i think uh, your paper uh, will be can be done in 3 hours and uh, i hope so you score good in your examination good luck